Alright guys, I'm going to give you all a real quick entertainment buzzer of some things I want to talk about, some reviews, stuff like that. So here it is guys. First and foremost, I actually, yes, I did go see Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Thought the movie was actually really done. I liked it very much. Um, it reminded me almost in the ways of the first one. When you first started watching it, you're like, okay, when's, you know... Will Turner and Elizabeth are going to be in this movie. And then, by the time Penelope and Blackbeard get into it, you're like, okay, who gives a fuck who, about the fact that they're not there at all. I actually enjoyed it. The movie isn't, unfortunately, doing very well. They, I'm pretty sure they will still do the two more sequels that they planned. But, I think it's competition that it had this year was kind of rough. And the fact is, a lot of people are already probably getting burnt out on the Pirates movies. Also, I thought the Blackbeard part of the movie was actually a great addition to the movie. But I definitely recommend going to check out the Pirates movies if you're a, fire, a pirate fan. If you didn't really like the first the first three, you probably won't like this one as well. But that's my opinion on Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Another movie I've also checked out this summer too was also The Hangover Part 2. Now, I watched The Hangover, the first one, after it came on DVD, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was cool and great idea and everything, and it gave, gave the movie more credit than what I actually did when the movie came out. Well, Hangover 2 Part 2, I ended up seeing this when I was in Florida for vacation and stuff, and I actually watched it, you know, with uh, my woman's brother and his woman, and we laughed the whole fucking time. And to me, right now... This is the best fucking movie of the summer. I like this movie more than any movie I have seen so far this summer. And I really give this movie a lot of credit. Yes, it does keep to the same formula as the first movie of what happens and kind of stuff like that. But you know what? That's what made the first one good. I've also heard that they're already working on part three. And right now, they've already done said it's already going to be different than the first two. They are breaking in front of chemistry. Of what the first two are. Uh, and supposedly. They got to break. Alan. Which is uh, Zach. I don't know his last name. His character out of a mental asylum. So what do you think about. What their storyline is looking like for part three. Leave it in the comment box below. What do you think of part two. Like I said I actually like it. And to me it's right now as of this video. Is to me my favorite movie of the summer. A lot of people want to know what my thoughts are on the new Superman reboot called The Man of Steel. Well, the fact that Henry, Henry Cavill is the Superman for this movie. Don't know who what he's ever played in. Um, so I'm kind of on the offense about that. I, we'll see how what happens as the trailer gets wrong and stuff like that on him. The fact that they are going to reboot it and the first villain of the story is going to be General Zod. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, okay with this, but I'm like, I really would like, would have rather had seen a villain we have yet to see in the movies. You know, the fact that maybe they're not, I, I kind of like the fact they're not putting Lex Luthor in this film, but they probably will have like a small cameo of him. You know, somebody playing like a younger version of him or something like that. Because you can't have a Superman movie without Lex Luthor, but I think you also can. Here's the thing, uh, they also got Kevin Costner to play Superman's, uh, to play Jonathan Kent, Diane Lane to play, uh, his mother. Great casting so far, uh, they also got Amy Adams from the movie, um, Enchanted, and also from The Fighter and stuff like that. She is actually playing Lois Lane, I think that's actually a great cast, I like her acting. So, I'm kind of curious to see how this movie plays out. The only thing, like I said, I wish they would have kind of went with a villain that we have yet to see. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan. I like General Zod, but he's got a lot of big shoes to fill to beat Terrence Stapp's um, Zod from Superman 2. Because that, of course, is the best Superman movie to me and is always going to be a favorite of mine. So, that's what I think of Man The Man of Steel. Write it in the box below what you guys think of The Man of Steel movie. Over in the video game section, basically, ever since Mortal Kombat came out, I have yet to, I haven't really got to play. That's the only game I've even played. There isn't, to me, anything coming out until almost the fall to actually play. 
So, I'm kind of been not even really been playing any video games recently at all. Um, I did check out some of the E3 news, though. Uh, Halo 4. Wow. And, you know, finally, something, you know, to really look forward to for next year's holiday season. Definitely, I want to check this out when it finally comes out. I will buy this game because I do like, I do not like care for the Halo, uh, story so much as much as I like playing the multiplayer because I have never have been one to play the one player games ever since I got my 360 bought Halo 3 it took me I think two years before I even got through the story of it because I just didn't play it I was always on multiplayer Halo Reach I kind of rushed through the story just to get the achievements for it but it mainly to me the Halo games are for multiplayer only but that's my personal opinion um i enjoy playing them and i can't wait for halo 4 i mean and of course you got the combat evolved the first one coming out um don't know if i'm going to get this i'm not sure yet but due to the fact that it is halo it is on xbox it is basically the first one it's going to be all the it's going to have achievements it's going to have multiplayer all that kind of stuff Actually, does make me kind of want to buy it. So I might end up picking this up um, just to have a new Halo game to play because I haven't really actually played Reach in a while. So, but definitely looking forward to this. Also, Nintendo premiered their Wii U game controller for the new system called Wii U, and it's fucking. They're now trying to go, it's like more games are now trying to compete with the iPhone, iPad, and all that kind of shit now. Because it's basically a tablet. I'm not impressed. Um, I don't even own a Wii. kind of wanted one, but in a ways, I'd rather have an, in a ways, I'd rather have the fucking Kinect. I don't have to hold nothing with the Kinect for my Xbox, so. And PlayStation Move is just like another, is like an, a Wii you know, on the steroids. It's going to be like the Wii U, in a way. So, that's my opinion on what happened at E3. Well, guys, that's it for this entertainment buzzer. I hope you actually enjoyed it. It was my first entertainment buzzer of the year, and I don't know if it might be the last. Uh, it is very hard for me to do videos, so please be patient, and I will do videos when I do get chance, because I am a very... I have... I'm very busy compared to how I used to be, so with the way my job is now and stuff like that, so it's harder for me to make videos, so please bear with me guys, and I will do new videos as I get, you know, time. I do will do a new Spider-Man update video eventually, as soon as they release probably a picture of the lizard, or a trailer for it, or teaser, whatever, for this movie. I will have more first looks coming as well, I want to do one on next year's Avengers, and some of the other movies that are coming out next year. So look forward to these videos eventually, guys, when I get a chance to them. Till next time.